Hello, welcome everyone. In this presentation, I am going to explain core knot equilibrium and Stackelberg games. I am uh, Dr. Ganesh. So, the basic setting of Stackelberg game is there is a leader who decides, who knows both payoffs and takes into account the best response reaction of the follower and the follower who reacts to the leader's decision. There is also a second place Stackelberg setting where leader decides and announces his decision, followers react based on uh, what is being announced by the leader and the leader takes into account followers decision and decide again where the leader has a chance to re-optimize or even cheat. So here leader has the opportunity to better payoffs because of he or she can decide first. And Stackelberg games have much not much received attention in experimental games literature however it is widely used for uh, modeling lot of scenarios in computer science electronics and many other fields of research so let's take a background for Stackelberg games it's essentially a basic example of a game with imperfect information so because the firms so let's take an example of United Nations uh, United Airlines versus American Airlines uh, and they have uh, certain quantities of people they can support in traveling per quarter so in this example when we say 64 it is 64,000 passengers per quarter and the profits are given in the payoff matrix so an example is if United Airlines and American Airlines both take 64,000 passengers per quarter, they both will get a payoff of 4.1 million dollars per quarter. And like that you can uh, understand this particular uh, matrix. And here the game is a non-cooperative game of imperfect information. The reason is United Airlines does not know the capacity of American Airlines and vice versa so let's come back to uh, an example of something called as oligopoly we know monopoly monopoly means it's just uh, one leader in the game or one leader in the market one person who decides everything monopoly there is also duopoly where if there are two key leaders who work on certain direction and oligopoly is actually as defined in uh, by dictionary a state of limited competition where a market is shared by a small number of producers or sellers uh, so to characterize the difference between monopoly and oligopoly when one company dominates the industry that is monopoly and that company has all power to control the pricing market is almost impossible to start a business oligopoly where is a place where a few companies dominate the industry pricing is quite fair but highly influenced by this elite uh, a few and uh, if not impossible it is difficult to start a business because it is still driven by these leaders an example is fast food restaurants probably we know Burger King McDonald's uh, KFC they all lead the fast food chain entering into a similar chain by a uh, different companies generally very tough so the first way we model a oligopoly is Cornot model so in Cornot model if firm set output simultaneously and let the market determine the price that is core not so there is no leader follower concept whereas in Stackelberg if one firm can set the output before the other firms Stackelberg model is appropriate so to simplify this analysis assume those two firms uh, United Airlines and uh, American Airlines the firms sell identical products in this example they carry passengers and make profit by flying they compete in the market that lasts for only one period and the product or service they sell so this is like one maybe the game lasting for one quarter 
as one episode. So Cournot model equilibrium, Cournot equilibrium, which is essentially Nash equilibrium in quantities, is a set of quantities solved by firms such that holding the quantities of all other firms constant, then no firm can obtain a higher profit by unilaterally deviating from the decided quantity. And that is Cournot equilibrium, which is very similar to the definition of Nash equilibrium. The best response curve show output each firm picks to maximize its profit. And the equilibrium occurs at the intersection of best response curve. So see that example where if you plot the best response curve for American Airlines and uh, United Airlines, wherever those two meet, that can be treated as the Cournot equilibrium. In this example, 64,000 uh, 64, passengers. Stackelberg model comes with the concept of a leader and follower where one player makes a decision sequentially the next player will make a decision and typically such type of a game which is sequential in nature is represented using tree game tree so take this example see this example American Airlines is a leader and the leaders decision can be 48, 64 or 96, then followers can decide 48, 64 or 96. So here the advantage for the leader is leader knows if leader choose 48, which of the three will lead to a better payoff for United. Similarly for 64 and 96. So if you take this example, if American uh, Airlines decide 48 for United the best option will be 64 because 64 gives him 5.1 million profit compared to other two now for American to choose 64 United will end up choosing 64 again because 4.1 is greater than 3.8 and 3.1 and if American take 96 United end up choosing 48 now given these three American can decide which one will lead him a better payoff so here, in case of 48, American Airlines will get 3.8 million profit for 64, 4.1, 496, 4.6. So American will end up choosing 96 and United will happen to take 48,000 uh, passengers and leading to a profit of 4.6 for the leader, where the leader had an advantage of deciding based on what is available information. So this slide essentially explains whatever I just explained. And uh, we have just discussed the Stackelberg out, uh, equilibrium which is American will choose 96 and uh, United will respond by selling 48. The, the why is moving sequentially is essential? The answer is that when the firms move simultaneously, United doesn't view Americans warning that it will produce a large quantity as a credible threat. But if United believed that threat, it would need to reproduce Tackleberg follower output level. Now, how do we find out the equilibrium in Cournot model and uh, hence similarly in Stackelberg model? So see the example. Uh, assume there is a cost function Tc y equal to 30y, the inverse demand function which is the output P is 120 minus Q. Assume this is what is given. Let's find out how do we decide uh, the equilibrium, how do we find out the equilibrium. So P is equal to 120 minus Q which is given in the question and uh, Q can be essentially replaced by y1 plus y2 which is the quantity that is produced by both firms and the to total of that will be nothing but the total output Q. So we got P equal to 120 minus Y1 minus Y2 and given that we can calculate total revenue which is P times Q and uh, which essentially leads to 120 minus Y1 minus Y2 times Y1 for first player and hence for the first player profit not profile, it's a typo. Profit for firm 1 will be 
total revenue minus uh, cost and we got that equation now maximizing profit is nothing but uh, marginal revenue which is d uh, derivative of tp1 over y1 and to maximize we will set this derivative to zero and solve uh, we have one equation now do the same repeat the same for uh, player 2 you will get two equations and two unknowns y1 and y2 you can uh, plot two lines and that will lead to giving you the place where the best response curve meet each other which will lead to the answer in this example each company's profit will become uh, 900 and you can do, you can understand that y1 and y2 will be 30 30 each this example is taken from the url given in this presentation and the, the URL has more examples and exercises. I strongly recommend that you all go and practice study that.